When I first heard about this movie, I thought it was going to be about my favorite car of all time, the Mustang. But it's not. The Mustang is a prison movie about a violent criminal who finds an emotional outlet in a horse training program in the U.S. Midwest. It stars Mathis... Not even gonna try and butcher that. As Roman Coleman, a violent criminal who's been in solitary confinement for years. He's been recently transferred to this prison in the Midwest, and while there, he discovers a program where prisoners break wild Mustangs for sale to the highest bidder. Through this program, he's able to face some of his past demons and hopefully become a better person. And that's the basic story. Right off the bat, there is something this movie does that I didn't really like. It claims in the opening credits that it is based on true events. That's not really accurate, though. Upon very little research, Research, you find that no, this is not based on a true story. It's not even based on true events. The program in the movie, however, is a real thing. That aspect of the story is true. And the story, while totally fictional, is based around that true-to-life program. Because of that, I don't really feel like this classifies this as based on a true story or based on true events or however you want to put it. True story or not, though, how's the movie? Actually, it's pretty damn good. The movie as a whole is fairly simple and nothing groundbreaking. However, the performances in the movie are absolutely fantastic. Everybody involved does a great job here. However, the standout is definitely Mathis as Roman Coleman. His character doesn't speak a lot in the movie. He's not mute or anything, but he just doesn't talk to people very much. So that means the majority of his performance is very physical. And that means we as the viewer have to decipher what's going on in his head based purely on his physical performance alone. And he does a phenomenal job here. You're never left wondering what's going on in this guy's head. You know at all times just based purely on his physical performance. While all the characters are really well done here, the story as a whole is pretty good too. It's a very small, deeply personal story. It's not big, huge, and grandos. But that's okay because it's done in such a nuanced, personal way that it's interesting from beginning to end. You really care about all the characters in this story that you're supposed to. And when certain things happen to some of them, it is truly heartbreaking. Speaking of heartbreak, this movie's got a lot of it. It is, after all, a redemption story, or at least someone's attempt at redemption story. So a lot of heartbreak being involved is kind of expected. But I will say that the heartbreak and the gut-riching moments are never manufactured. They're all very real and earned. The movie, unfortunately, does have a few prison movie cliches and contrivances in it. There's not a ton of them, and they don't ruin the experience, but they are there and you do see him coming from a mile away. Beyond those few little things in the movie, overall, it's a great watch. It's difficult on an emotional level to watch at times, but a great watch regardless. What I did like about the movie is it doesn't cop out. Sure, there's some of those contrivances that I talked about earlier, but overall, the emotional impact of the movie all seems very real. And the outcome of some of these situations is very real, too. The movie doesn't cop out and give you the happy-go-lucky outcome in these situations that you're hoping for, for the most part. It's a great portrait of how getting things out there and having an outlet can help a person heal. And while maybe not always help someone be a better person, it can help them move forward with life in a better way. At the end of the day, The Mustang was a great watch. It was tough to watch at times, gut-wrenching, real, and difficult, but it was also beautifully acted, well told, and inspirational when it needed to be. And absolutely worth checking out on Netflix. You'll probably only watch it once, but it is totally worth that one-time view. So there it is, guys, my review of The Mustang. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say, give me a thumbs up. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. I did really like this movie, but man, I was really thinking this was going to be about the car. Oh well, it's a damn good movie either way, and I've still got Ford v Ferrari coming out soon.